It's been a while, hasn't it? Let's do a desk setup tour to reignite this channel. To those of you that are watching after so long of not being really active, thank you. Bear with me, there will be more in the coming weeks. Recently, I've updated my desk and partially I wanted to re-update the desk to just suit what I'm doing more in a more constructive way and just be all around better uh, for my use case. And I also wanted to do just say, go on. So here's the desk. The brain is an M1 MacBook Air. And why is that, you might ask? Well, it's kind of the best value Mac at the moment you can buy. The thing is silent, no fan, does everything a college student would want, and it can be found pretty cheap now. Next, beside it is the monitor. It's just a regular old Dell monitor. Why did I choose Dell monitor? It's because it's just what's worked. And it has a VGA input, which links into my Lenovo Think Dock. And this thing works off USB-C with the MacBook, so I can really work with one port. One port powers this entire setup and it charges the laptop, which is a bonus. Just off to the side of that, we have my coffee machine. Need a coffee machine and the desk setups, obviously, when you're talking about students. That's the case. To the right of that, connected into the dock is my Western Digital Elements drive. It's powering the external storage because 256 gig on a Mac or even 512 isn't a lot when you're processing big files for projects in Unity or anything like that. I also have a notebook there for writing down things for college, that kind of thing. And of course we have a wireless mouse because any setup needs a wireless mouse because you're not going to be using a trackpad for everything. And the beauty of the Max is, yeah, you don't get your side swipes and you don't get your fancy gestures, but you have that on the trackpad on a MacBook. Any Windows mouse will work on a MacBook, which I appreciate. And that's the desk setup. It's pretty simple. The whole idea was to streamline the desk so that it only had what's needed. And that Lenovo dock is what really prompted this entire setup because it allows me to do everything I could want with just a single cable. That's the beauty of Type-C. I can just pick up the laptop, unplug it and go. And that's all that there is to the setup. Of course I have lightning cable, you know, the usual wireless chargers, but to really make the setup work, it had to be done with the Lenovo dock. And that's kind of my review of the Lenovo dock fixed into this, because I can't really figure out a way to make a whole dedicated video about a Lenovo dock. But that's sort of my review and my setup. Let me know what you think of the setup in the comment section below. Let me know what setup you're using, what powers your setup. And before you ask, why not M3? It's not necessary. But what I do, it's just not. The new MacBook Pro 14 inch with M3, that's a cool Mac. But you can get a better Mac with an M1. See you next one.